guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl at DC Fandom again, so hopefully you checked out yesterday's video as in regards to the Supergirl panel not happening. Also, there was another video, it was a double upload day yesterday, so there was a video on The Flash because they just confirmed that Season 7 will be getting a trailer at DC Fandom sometime next week or so. Okay, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Alright, so we're going to be talking about Supergirl today and this is in regards to the Supergirl stuff that is happening at DC Fandom because we have some updates as in regards to what is happening with Supergirl related content because like you saw in yesterday's video, there is no official Season 6 panel for Supergirl at DC Fandom. And on the outside that looks a bit peculiar because you know it's one of the biggest DC shows out there, DC fandoms all about DC. Well we've got confirmation that Melissa wasn't able to make it and we're going to read through her statement, we're going to look through all the other Supergirl related content that I didn't talk about yesterday because the obvious panel where the Supergirl cast was related to, that's just one of them, there's some smaller stuff that is happening but I thought I would bring it to you guys in this video. So the thread that I'm reading is actually on Twitter from Warner Brothers TV, so they said this, If you're looking to find Supergirl related content in DC fandom, you've come to the right place, here's a thread of all the super stuff you can check out, and that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video, and we're going to read Melissa's statement just quickly. So Melissa on Twitter said this, and it's quoting a DC Comics tweet about DC fandom coming August 22nd. I'm bummed I'm not able to take part in DC fandom, but I know there is a ton of cool DC content planned, especially all things Supergirl related with a bunch of my friends. Be there, Saturday, August 22nd at dcfandom.com, and then she did a few hashtags, hashtag Supergirl, hashtag DC fandom. So yeah, basically it confirms, yeah, Melissa was asked to be there, and she was supposed to be there, but obviously due to current circumstances, it's totally understandable and you know we just hope Melissa's staying healthy having a good life and hopefully you know everything goes well in regards to her baby so I'm actually kind of glad that she didn't actually turn up because I'm glad she's focusing on her life right now so that's good and some point in the very near future she'll be back to filming so yeah let's let Melissa have the time off anyway so that is her official statement as to why she wasn't there I think the big problem is to do with DC fandom in regards to Supergirl is the fact that like Azzy was not even told about you know DC fandom as a whole. And I'm very surprised they didn't get like Staz in there and you know Jesse Raff like you could have gathered together like a big cast of you know main supporting Supergirl characters and obviously Melissa couldn't be there so that's fine but then you could have got like all the rest or like even just asking them like that would have been the best thing. I have no idea why they didn't ask, but, you know, that's just how it goes, I guess. But anyway, so let's go through the DC fandom stuff to do with Supergirl. So all the Supergirl-related panels that you guys can check out on August 22nd and August 23rd. So the first one is David Harewood and Nicole Maines will be at the Watch First section where you can see their panel, which is titled Truth, Justice, and the DC Comics Way. I talked about that in yesterday's video. That is the most overtly kind of Supergirl-related thing compared to what would normally be at San Diego Comic Con because you know all these other Supergirl things that I'm about to go through with the panels or the clips all the extra stuff is just kind of extras like this panel actually has two of our main cast members actually talking about Supergirl so David Harewood and Nicole Maines are going to be there for that panel Truth Justice in the DC Comics way that is with some of the other Arrowverse people okay so the next panel regarding Supergirl is about the behind the scenes of the Arrowverse crossover. This is a panel featuring Supergirl Senior Visual Effects Supervisor Armin. So I'm guessing in this he's going to be talking a bit about, you know, the behind the scenes in regards to visual effects and the crossover and everything like that. I mean, these panels are interesting and obviously they're people you've not heard about because I think what they've done is instead of getting the main cast in, what they've done is they kind of substituted them for different people on the production who obviously have a big role. The senior visual effects supervisor obviously plays a huge part in the way Supergirl looks and, you know, you know making her fly after all, right? But 
I'm just saying it feels like a substitute and kind of like they're trying to shoe in some Supergirl content. But anyway, let's move on to the next panel. This is Supergirl's original costume designer. This was for season one. It was the original costume. It was designed by Colleen Atwood, and Colleen Atwood will be at the Super Designers Behind the Super Suits panel in the inside of her. So this is actually a bit more interesting because Colleen Atwood, if you don't know Colleen Atwood, she's a very, very well-known costume designer and she designed all the original costumes in the Arrowverse, so Supergirl's original suit, and this is why she's called Supergirl's original costume designer, because I believe she moved on past these shows, always past season one, and then, you know, the new suit design is designed by someone else. But anyway, so Colleen Atwood designed the Flash's original suit, Arrows, Supergirls, so that will be an interesting one, so go check that out in the inside of us. Okay, so the next panel is from Supergirl's prop master, Matthew Wilson who will be talking about some of his favorite props on the show in the inside of us See now this is where I'm saying like this is interesting stuff. This is interesting But it's definitely a replacement for what they couldn't get like no one knows who the prop master is of Supergirl or to be frank any of the shows any films out there unless you work on the set so I'm sure most of you guys don't know what a prop master is but basically a prop master is the person in charge of all the props, all the things you see on the screen in the TV show. And maybe that's interesting to some of you guys, it's interesting to me, but it definitely feels like something they just like kind of, oh yeah, let's just do this instead of this or something. But anyway, I'm not putting anything against these people, I'm just saying I think this is sort of a way for Warner Brothers TV to kind of protect themselves, you know, so they haven't fully excluded Supergirl at all. Anyway, so the next panel, in the lineup of Supergirl's stuff is stunt coordinator Simon Burnett from Supergirl will be at the Heroes Behind the Action panel in the inside of us. So stunt coordinator, that's pretty cool. He's going to talk about some of the stunts that go on on the Supergirl TV show. Okay, so let's move over. KTU unit photographer for Supergirl will be at the capturing the action in still frame panel in the inside of us. So again, interesting, but. You know, it's just a unit photographer, but you know, I'm interested in that one because that's similar to what I like, being a filmmaker myself. Okay, so Armand, the senior visual effects supervisor on Supergirl, Jesse Warren, the co-executive producer slash director of many of Supergirl's episodes, and Jennifer Clark, Melissa Benoist's stunt double will be part of the magicians of VFX making Supergirl and Shazam fly, and that is a panel in the inside of us. I think this is actually the most interesting panel out of all of these because this is specifically, you know, talking about like the director, the visual effects supervisor and then Melissa's stunt double because they all work in different ways. They don't necessarily all work directly together. Obviously Jesse Warren when he's directing he talks to the stunt double, Jennifer Clark a lot and you know, but then it's like kind of the post-production mixing with, you know, what happens on set so this is very interesting to me. And so this is along with some of Shazam's visual effects people, you know, the film. And so they're going to talk about how they make them fly. And obviously Melissa's stunt double does a lot of the action, does a lot of the flying and everything like that. So I think it's really cool that they brought her on. I think that is especially exciting to see Jennifer Clark talk because, you know, she's been a big voice, you know, in the Supergirl community for a long while now because she's been around for a long time. Alright, so a season 1 feature that explores the history of the famous planet Krypton and its role and its depiction in Supergirl will be in the inside of us on stage 16. This is going to be like a mini featurette. It's going to be like 5-10 minutes long or something like that. And then another one is Supergirl fans will now have the exclusive opportunity to peek into the makings of the show's pilot in the special highlight reel in the inside of us stage 16. This is very exciting. Again, these featurettes are going to be pretty short, but it's exciting because I love the show's pilot episode and I would be very interested in seeing this. I'm sure we're going to talk about this some more in the near future. And so the last panel is regarding the producers and the stars of Supergirl. So you join them as they celebrate the show's titular character and her embodiment of female empowerment in the special featurette from season one at the Insider Versus Stage 16, so another featurette that is coming. So these would normally be featured on like the DVD, so these are extras that they've added for DC Fandom. So 
What do you think about all of this? Are you excited for DC Fandom and these specific Supergirl panels that we've been told about as of right now? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.